And on Morning Round's mental myth-busting, you may know the claim that doing crossword puzzles improves memory or playing classical music for your baby will make them a genius. But in this month's issue of Popular Science, researchers debunk the most common misconceptions about how our brains work. Michael Nunes is the magazine's technology editor. Good morning. Good morning. So let's begin with this question. How sure. much of our brain do we actually use? Well, so there's this common misconception that we're only using 10% of our brain because science fiction movies and novels have, have basically told us that that's the case, when in fact it's not true. If you only used 10% of your brain, you'd basically be brain dead. So, um, so thanks to mo modern brain scanning technology, we actually know that uh, we're using all of our brain at all different moments, and different parts are being activated depending on the activity. And the interesting thing is the brain is changing every day. Activity changes the brain. Absolutely, yeah. So you can the plasticity uh, of the brain. Yeah, and, and what we found in, in recent years is that the plasticity of the brain is actually pretty high. So you can um, continue to develop the brain long into adulthood, which uh, which is a relatively new idea in the scientific community. Right. What about alcohol and killing brain cells? Yeah, so this was another shocker in our office. Um, basically, we've, there's a lot of research that indicates that, um, that alcohol does not kill brain cells. What it does is impair the way that neurons communicate with each other. So in the short term, for moderate alcohol use, um, you're not actually going to be damaging brain cells. You might impair things like decision making and, of course, uh, speech. But, uh, but it, you're not actually killing the neurons in your brain. And uh, scientists know this because they've studied the brains of alcoholics and non-alcoholics and found the uh, number of brain cells to be the exact same. How about the Mozart effect? Because for years we've heard if you play Mozart when you're pregnant and play it to your baby once the baby gets here, you're going to have a smarter baby. Yeah, you know. That must be true, Michael. Unfortunately, uh, no, nothing is ever that easy, right? <laughs> yes. and, uh, and so with the Mozart effect, uh, you know, this was a, a, a funny one. We traced this back to, uh, to 1993 uh, when a team of researchers at UC Irvine studied 36 college students. And mind you, that's a really small number of college students. And uh, these students performed better on tests after listening to Mozart, better on IQ tests. Mm -hmm. And so over time, that was extrapolated and, and even twisted and misconstrued by uh, eager parents to, uh, to, who have interpreted it as listening to Mozart makes you smarter, when in fact, um, it's just not that easy. It's just not that easy. What about being left-brained or right-brained? You know, some of us more creative than others. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so this is a, a Some of us are more yes. creative than others. Like the left brain is your logical side, right? Yeah. And the right brain is your more... Uh, creative side. Right. That's, a, that's something that you hear in these um, cultural idioms, right, and, and things that have been said. Uh, uh, but, but what we do know is that there are two hemispheres of the brain, and uh, one is used, the left side is used for, uh, for uh, verbal communication, and the right side is used for spatial reasoning. But, um, in fact, no one has a dominant side of the brain. Uh, you know, w when you look at the brain... Are you a neurosurgeon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no, but I'm, I'm lucky enough to, to talk to them, so, uh, so that's, that's the fun part of my job. Any gender differences in brain? There aren't, and this is a really important one for us at, at Popular Science. Um, you know, both male and female brains have the exact same uh, cognitive potential, and, uh, and although there are very small anatomical differences, um, for the most part, the perceived uh, differences that you see between males and females in, in science and math are because of uh, cultural expectations. Other than exercise and, and all the things that make our body more healthy, uh, what else can we do to enhance our brain? Well, there's three really easy things that you can do. So there's no magic pill that you can take, obviously, but, uh, but you can um, practice healthy routines day in and day out. So eating your greens, that's something that I'm sure your parents have told you plenty of times. And you basically want to f be fueling your brain. Your brain is 3% uh, of your body mass, and it's consuming 20% of its energy. So eat lots of greens. You Secondly, didn't say crossword puzzles. I, we, I, no, no, crossword puzzles yeah. will not make you smarter, but uh, Eating healthier will, exercising will, and of course, uh, socializing, talking to interesting people. Thank you. Socializing <laughs> yeah. makes you smarter. Yeah. How about sex? Uh, uh, sex it does, I mean, it might increase blood flow, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I, don't, I don't think that it's going to make you any smarter. What about black like, leather? <laughs> <laughs> Michael's like, humana, humana, humana. Thank you, Michael.